knock his knuckles. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Sonic Forces news. And um, I'm just gonna say this, it's been a while since I actually recorded anything. I know a lot of things dropped, but we're just gonna rapid fire through these, okay? So very first thing is in one of the previous news videos I was asking, when does this game come out? We now have confirmed through the Sonic social media accounts that it's officially November 7th. On top of that, we're also getting a couple pre-order bonuses. So if you pre-order the game, you can get the Jet Set Radio glasses and outfit for your custom character. Um, all these are for custom characters, by the way. You can also get a mask and outfit for Persona 5. Get a, uh, a hat from Pu Puyo, Puyo Puyo Puyo. I'm never going to be able to say that properly. Um, you get ears and an outfit from Super Monkey Ball. And you get the Knight's hat and outfit from Knights into Dreams and Knight's Journey into Dreams. And those will all be available for your custom character when you pre-order the game. On top of that, you're going to get a cool looking controller skin that has Sonic on it, it has the Forces logo in the middle, and it also has Infinite on the right side of it. It's a cool little controller skin, so whatever console you're going to get it for, if you pre-order it, you'll get these available to you. It's going to be on the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC on November 7th. We got a picture of what the dog would look like in Sonic Forces, so what you're seeing here is a picture and the picture that I found actually just compared like a bunch of the screenshots that were on the middle on the middle of it, so you see like a lot of stuff that's circled. You see it all over uh, some of the other pictures that are around it confirming it. this is what the dog character is going to look like for your custom character. And I mean I kinda expected it to look like this. Um, again, you know, it's still an interesting playstyle, so hopefully it um, doesn't disappoint. And, um, I I'm kind of hoping that they make DLC for, like, s to make your dog look like Snoopy. Am I just the only one? No? Okay, well, whatever. We're moving on from that. Some new areas have been shown off, but they're not entirely new. We got the classic version of Park Avenue, and it looks like Park Avenue from the side perspective. It has, it has all of your classic Sonic things. It has the little ramps that will launch you up in the air. It has loops and everything, so... We haven't seen any real gameplay of it, but we have seen what it a preview of what the stage looks like. This can actually be found on the Japanese uh, Sonic Forces uh, website. So that's where this comes from. Also on top of that, we have Green Hill Zone. Uh, the modern version of Green Hill Zone. And I know one of the things is that Green Hill Zone is <laughs> so linear and stuff that people are tired of Green Hill Zone. I, for one, am also tired of it. I've also heard a complaint that it's pretty linear, which I will say it is, but I have a feeling this is going to be an early zone in the game, you know, just to get it out of the way for the sake of nostalgia, just get it out and then have the actual game follow afterward. And I think I can say this, I'm okay with Green Hill Zone being a bit more linear than the rest of the game, only because I feel it's a good introduction level. Classic Sonic seems like a great way to introduce multiple paths, but none of them would be too hazardous to the, other pl uh, to the player. But then, even in Sonic Generations, they use Green Hill Zone as a way to just show you how to play the game, and they don't give you too many different paths, and when you do, you end up coming back to similar segments, or this, into the same segments, like, you'll branch off and you'll come back into the same area, and then you'll branch off again and come back to the same area, branch off, and then you end up at the end of the level. That's how I feel it's going to be for here. It's not going to be too open-ended for Green Hill Zone, which is fine, fine with that. As long as hopefully the rest of the game isn't exactly like this, where it just seems like you're gonna dash to win or boost to win. I'm a little hesitant on being like excited for this, but I'm hoping to see more from this in the future. Hopefully, we'll see more Sonic Forces stuff soon. On top of that, we also have um, the Park Avenue boss area. In other words, where you'll be fighting. I'm assuming Metal Sonic. It looks like you'll be fighting Metal Sonic in this area because if you've seen from the reveal of his theme to um, what you're seeing on screen right now. This is this looks like Park Avenue. It looks like right after Park Avenue, you're gonna fight Metal Sonic. If it's not, then, oops, my bad. But that's what it looks like to me. One more little piece, it's still on the Sonic Forces Japanese website, and that is this weird question mark thing that people have been speculating on what it could be, that it could be like an overview trailer, it could be something. I'm not going to speculate on what it is, I'm just here to point out that the fact that that's being speculated on. And with that said, that's my roundup on all the Sonic Force stuff that's been happening. Uh, I know I took kind of a two week break from the channel, uh, mostly because it was just way too hot to record anything, and now that the temperatures have gone down a bit, I can now finally get back to recording videos and covering Sonic Forces news. 
So with that said, um, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to check out all the sources in the link down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, give it a like. I probably said that wrong, but whatever. I, I swear I've done this before. Anyways, until then, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.